Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jodie, and this is my first YouTube video. Hopefully I'll get better at this, this is so weird talking to you through there. Uh, so I'm Jodie, I run Jazzacraft on Instagram, I have my own Etsy shop called Jazzacraft. I sell personalised pet portraits, I paint all sorts of animals, rats, rabbits, guinea pigs, dogs, cats, a lot. Um, I love it, I channel an animal obsession as I say, I've loved animals since I was today for the whole of my life um, and I really enjoy capturing them in my art um, my I have a twin sister called Sarah who is also an artist um, a very talented artist and she does people portraits so we complement each other quite well <laughs> um, I'm starting this YouTube video as I hear it's a very good marketing tool for artists um, I'm really focusing on marketing myself better this year and hopefully working towards establishing an art career for myself. I currently run a small family bakery with my parents, my two older brothers and my twin sister um, and both Sarah and I are working on our art careers on the side. Um, I've been doing pet portraits since 2017 now and I love it. It's such a great outlet for me and I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, I'm working on expanding what I'm doing in that area, so not just pet portraits now. I've started selling greeting cards on the islands and creating business relationships which has been really scary for me because I'm not the most out there person. It's been good for me I think, it's been a confidence boost talking to people and having some successful interactions and creating successful business partnerships. Um, I sell my cards at the Isle of Wight Donkey Sanctuary and Blueberries Cafe and the Moncton Arts Cafe so far and I chose them because they're three places that I adore. Um, I love milkshakes at Moncton Arts, I think my cards are funding my milkshake habit right now. <laughs> um, I love the Isle of Donkey Sanctuary and all that they do there and Moncton Arts is a great art space um, and I take part in their art competitions, their kind of competitions which I'm doing again this year. So yeah, so that's where I'm at with that, uh, but I wanted to really focus on marketing myself online and improving my Instagram presence because I post on there, but I've never really been that engaging. I just kind of use it as a gallery space for my art and I want to use it to interact more with the audience and show you guys a little bit more about what I do behind the scenes and the, my process of creating art rather than just the finished piece. So I've been learning how to do reels, which is exciting. <laughs> um, hard work recording what you're doing as well as getting on with the art because art's very much a personal me and the piece thing and it's strange bringing someone else in along to view it. But I'm getting used to that dynamic and I'm getting used to filming that and having a bit of fun with video choices and how I'm putting reels together so it's been good. I hope to get better at it and improve it and make it more engaging and I think going into YouTube now will help me do that and hopefully I'll get some feedback from you guys um, and maybe share with other artists some ideas along the way of what I'm doing and you might be able to do as well. Um, or if any of you out there have ideas for me then please comment below and let me know. Um, I'm happy. I'll happily welcome any advice to improve things. Um, another exciting thing about this channel is this is why I plan to post videos of the podcast that Sarah and I will be doing. Um, we've both joined Substack recently um, and we're going to be posting blogs, our own individual blogs and posts about our thoughts and what we're learning to just document everything that we're doing. Um, and then we're going to be doing podcast videos where we talk to each other about it because even though we're on different paths with our art careers, um, we do find ourselves having the same thought processes and we share an office at work and we catch up with each other about what we're doing and it's funny sometimes how even though our art is very different and what we do with our art is quite different, um, we end up having the same thoughts about things and we both thought about doing YouTube at the same time, we both thought about doing network events at the same time. Um, it's quite funny really. 
yeah so i think it's gonna be exciting it's gonna be fun having a proper chit chat with her um gives us an excuse to have an evening together because we usually just catch up at work and uh talk about where our art is progressing um we're both considering publishing as well so that's something else that we're going to talk about i'm um, learning and trying to absorb as much as i can about publishing because i one of my bucket list goals for my life is to publish and sell a children's book that i've written and illustrated myself so i'm working on a series of books at the moment i'm going to be starting a kickstarter hopefully this year um based around sleeping rats as a kind of a learning process as one of the books i really want to create um and hopefully work my way towards a children's story that i've written and really want to illustrate um hopefully in the next two three years so yeah watch this space hopefully you see me achieve that in the future hopefully future me gets those things done stays motivated doesn't give up um yeah so if you want to follow along and watch what I'm doing then great um I might post videos of uh time lapses of me doing my art um I'll update on what I'm thinking what I'm doing definitely update on makers markets I'm doing at the moment I don't know why I've signed myself up for all these things but I have um I've signed myself up for three makers markets this year uh one's a Christmas market sorry uh there's Bentley Fringe Festival on the Isle of Wight in July I've signed myself up for the Friday 21st and Friday 28th of July to do the makers market there and I've never done a market stall for my art ever so this is my first one and it's a learning curve um fortunately I've made friends with so many helpful people that have given me advice and we'll see how it goes and the first Friday I'll just learn from it take some notes and hopefully improve for the next one and then I hope it'll become a regular thing um there's not as many well as far as I'm aware there might be more um not as many markets on the island there's a little bit more along the coast of sort of Bournemouth post uh, Portsmouth and that sort of thing uh so I may have to travel for some of them but Moncton Arts do uh art markets so hopefully I'll be able to get involved with those and become a market expert <laughs> we shall see um but yeah so you can learn along with me on that one and i think that's it but i'll be back if i've missed anything but if you want to watch and you want to follow along and hopefully i post i'm planning on committing myself to one video a month to make it achievable so that i continue with it and if i get quicker at editing or have a lot going on i want to do more videos and i might post more regularly but at the moment, I'm just going to be around once a month. And if you check in with me during that time, I will really appreciate it. And if you have any advice for me, please do comment below. Please be nice. Um, I am a human and my feelings get hurt easily. So be kind. <laughs> but I appreciate any help that any of you might be able to give me. And if you can root for me and keep me motivated, uh, you're now my accountability friends on here. Don't let me give up because I really want to achieve these things. But it can be hard sometimes. So make me accountable. Don't let me give up. <laughs> and thanks. And uh, hopefully see you around. Okay, bye.